clap, 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 clap. We're the goddamn it is the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding, I lied. He's not short or has long hair. Hey everybody, who's happy? Are y'all happy over here? Yeah, you happy in the back? Over, how about over here guys? Yeah? Cool, cool. So uh, before I get started, uh, I'm a little upset. Uh, these guys, I, I want y'all to pray for everyone that performed, because uh, they, they were pretty sinful, okay? And uh, <laughs> if they don't ask forgiveness, they're going to hell. I'm just letting that, letting that be known. But let's get into it, all right? Um, Let's get into some jokes. You guys like current events? Uh, everyone's complaining about too much ice at the border. Guys, it's hot down there. It's gonna melt, okay? Mexicans are good swimmers. That was a good, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh man, I just feel the Lord in this room. Y'all feel that in your hearts? You feel that? Shut the fuck up in the back! That's my impression of a bad youth pastor. Uh, thank you, I've been working on that. Um, you guys are great. Oh, times are crazy. Times are insane. The president bangs porn stars and hangs out with Kanye West. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, I want to hate the guy, but those are like two things on my bucket list. Like, I'm really... I have mixed emotions. I love his Twitter account. It's the only reason I check Twitter now. It's amazing. I was thinking the other day, like, what if more presidents tweeted like Donald Trump? Like, what if every president was just insane and just had access to Twitter? So these are some tweets I came up with, came up with from past presidents. I'm 90% sure this house is haunted by white people. Barack Obama. Um, oh, shit. That 9-11 thing was today? LOL, my bad. George W. Bush. Um, that's what I love about White House interns. I get older, they stay the same age. Bill Clinton. Um, good morning, Dallas. Pulling up to the scene on my ceiling missing. John F. Kennedy. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta let me finish, guys. Uh, I don't know, I just wanna be like my older brother. Robert F. Kennedy. Uh, he wasn't president when it's funny because he got shot. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just getting tired of white women. Thomas Jefferson. Um, and my favorite. Wow, this place sucks. Somebody please blow my brains out. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, retweeted by John Wilkes Booth. Okay, we'll, pa we'll pass. We're past that point. We can move on. We can move on. I'm, I'm half brown, half white. I know it throws a lot of people off. Thank you, thank you. It throws a lot of people off because I look like a sleepy giraffe. I understand. I look like the third Mario brother who gave up on his dreams. That happens. Um, but no, my first name's Clemente, so I like sound like a Mexican explorer, but I'm half white, so I look like I'm trying to stop Mexicans from exploring. Um, yeah. I'm brown, so I steal cars. But I'm white, so I call the cops immediately. <laughs> and don't get arrested. White privilege. Am I? No. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We, we're not that comfortable yet. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, it's fun. I don't know how y'all feel about immigration, but I think we need as many Mexicans here as possible. Because if we get rid of the Mexicans, who's going to cook the Chinese food? You guys, like, we really... We can't lose that. We can't... I'm not ready. I'm really not. Um... Like Gabe, I'm also dating a black woman. Uh, she doesn't show up to my shows, though, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> but no, it's fun. I'm like, her, I'm like her first boyfriend. You know, she dated outside of her race. You know, because she thought she lucked out. But uh, turns out I have a black guy's credit score, so... Yeah, joke's on her. Joke's on her. Um, you have no idea how hard it is to get your credit down to a 420. Um, it's not. It's actually really easy. It's embarrassingly easy. Uh, but no, it's fun. We have a good time, you know. Um, she recently bought a whip on Amazon, and I was like, what the hell are you going to do with the whip? What is that for? She was like, reparations, bitch. 
It's like, oh shit, that's terrifying. That's, I don't want to role play anymore. Um, it's, <laughs> no, it's cool. We have cool nicknames for each other. Like, uh, when I go down her tunnel, she calls me El Chapo. And, uh, yeah, yeah. When she goes down my tunnel, I call her Harriet Tubman. It's, uh, is that too soon? I don't know. Um, relationships, relationships are hard, guys. You know, women, women want a guy who will take their breath away, and I'm just tired of choking these hoes. It's really, it's, it's getting out of hand. Um, Women, women are into that. They really are. Um, it's location is important though, because you know it's it's like fantastic, you know, if you're choking your lady in the privacy of your own home late at night. But it's not fantastic if you're choking your lady in the middle of Olive Garden. Um, she ate all the breadsticks. Okay, I didn't know they were unlimited. How do you think I felt? I was embarrassed. I was. No, but women, women are women are into like rough sex, like getting choked in bed. Maybe it's the women I hang out with. Don't look into that. But they are, and I, I was with a girl, and she said, hey, I want you to choke me. I've never done it before, you know? So I was nervous. She was like, don't worry, the safe word's cucumber. So like, I had my hand on this girl's neck, right? She's just going, I was like, cucumber? Did you say cucumber? No, I don't want you to die. Okay, it's scary. It's, it makes me, it's nerve wracking, man. Like I have my hand on this girl's throat, and I'm just like, kind of messed up relationships that she been in. Does she hate her dad? Why am I not wearing a condom? This is the worst, worst mistake of my life. Worst mistake of my life. It's scary though, you know? Because what if we're having such a good time that she doesn't tell me to stop, you know? I might accidentally choke her to death. I might be the next O.J. Simpson. And I don't have O.J. Simpson money, you know? Like, what type of lawyer am I supposed to hire? All the talented Kardashians are dead. And all the talented Jenners have their dick removed. No, nope, no, nope, too soon, okay. You guys are right, you guys are right. I just know I could never date a feminist. Cause when we get it on, she's gonna flip me on back. My turn, she's like, ah, kick over, kick over. That's how I die, that's how I go out. Good last chapter, good read, good read. A lot of people, uh, a lot of young people have tattoos. I feel like my generation hasn't earned tattoos. You know, like face tattoos. You see older guys with face tattoos? You know, like they killed somebody, they're in a gang, they did some shit. I mean, you see like 17 year olds with face tattoos, you're like, what is that? And it's like, well, I got this teardrop because my dad took my PlayStation. <laughs> Pretty fucked up. It's just crazy, man. Think about the dumbest people you know. They all have tattoos. They have the worst tattoos you've ever seen. And they're super proud of them, too. They're like, check this out, man. My homeboy hooked it up, right? Like, uh, is your homeboy in pre-K? Because that looks terrible. <laughs> is your homeboy Michael J. Fox? Because he needs to go back to the future and fix that shit. I wasn't talking about the disease. You guys, get it together, Golden Light. Jesus. I'm trying to run a show here. Oh. Now, my favorite are, like, uh, when people try to have deep symbols, deep, deep meanings for their tattoos, you know, like the Asian symbols, like, this is peace, love, tranquility. Nah, bro, that's a Sifu Mania P.F. James, okay? I know Kong Pao Shrimp when I see it. You know, religious tattoos are cool. You know, because the people that get them aren't religious. It's, it's a cool thing happening. Like, my friend has a crucifix on his back. He's like, bro, last night we both got blackout drunk, and then you took a shit in a cat's litter box. Like, I don't think that's in the book. I haven't read the whole thing. I don't think it's in there. I don't think it's in there. I'm kidding. I am religious. That's why I only have sex with women that have Bible verse tattoos. Yeah, it's a requirement. I would be like, roll over, baby. Dad's got to ask for forgiveness, you know? Um, yeah, they're the best. They're the best. Three more and I'm done with Revelations. Don't spoil the ending. I'm excited. I'm gonna see what happens. See what happens. It's just, it's gonna be cool when they're like studying our culture and our society and they're like, oh, they had Bible verse tattoos. I bet they were like so religious. They were so dedicated. It's like, no, they just felt guilty about their coke addiction and they were trying to cancel it out. That's a new joke in land, okay. Oh, man. I really can't make fun of I really can't make fun of tattoos too much, you know, because I got a dumb tattoo when I was 18. My girlfriend at the time convinced me to get a tattoo of her name on my back in big bold letters, Hannah, H-A-N-A-H, -H, which should have been a red flag right there. This bitch can't spell her name right. Don't do it. But I did it, and then she broke up with me like two weeks later, and I was like, damn, I was devastated. I didn't know what to do, you know. So I went. I got a I got a good idea. I went back to that same tattoo shop, and I got a hyphen after the first two letters. 
So now whenever someone asks me to do something really stupid, I just lift up my shirt and go, ha, nah. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys have been awesome.